Okay, this says rewrite the quadratic portion of the algebraic expression. So I see a big algebraic expression. The denominator right here is the algebraic portion. And we're supposed to write it as a sum or difference of two squares by completing the square. Huh. All right, I'm going to be honest. I don't know what it's asking. Uh, it says sum of two squares or are different than two squares. Now there's no such thing as a sum of two squares, but I do know that like, okay, this is a perfect square, this is a perfect square. It wants me to write it like this, I think, or it wants me to write it as a difference of two squares. Now I'm not sure what that means to this problem, but I do know how to complete the square. So let's complete the square for this bottom part right here. So that's gonna be um, <clears throat> x squared plus two x, and I'm gonna have a plus blank right here. I'm going to put this in parentheses, and then this plus 5 is chilling out here. Now, this uh, plus blank, I can't just add it to that. Now, remember before we did completing the square, and if you had x squared plus 2x plus blank, you would just do a plus blank to the other side too. But that's not what we have here. We don't have an equation. So, how do I make this legal? How do I make that legal? Like, so that I'm not actually adding something. Okay, first of all, let's, um, let's do this. We divide 2 by 2 and then square it, right? To complete the square, we go b divided by 2 and then we square it. What is 2 divided by 2 and square it? So I'm adding a 1 to it. Now, I can't do that because now it's different. But what if I then subtracted a 1? Wouldn't that be the same? I mean, technically, I could get rid of these parentheses because they don't matter, and then neg positive 1 plus negative 1, those would cancel out, and we're back to where we were, right? So we can do this. We can add a 1 to it like that, just as long as we take it back away. So this is now a 4. What is this? That is a x plus 1 squared. And then uh, that's a 4. Oh, snap, look at that. This is a sum of two perfect squares. That is this right here. So that's what it was asking. Whatever your final answer would be, you would have a sum or difference of squares on the bottom. So I have one over x plus one squared plus four. I guess they were just hinting at how, what your answer would look like. A sum of squares or a difference of squares. Ours looks like a sum of squares. We have a perfect square here, a perfect square here. That's it, that's how you do it.